Uh, Spikes Asia is a great platform for thought leadership and for creativity and to explore new types of creativity and new ways of being creative to connect people and brands in new ways. I think it's really interesting because this kind of event allows you to, to think about how to use technology in a different way. It's not like just for being practical, but not just, just to, to, to talk about alternative ways of, of using technology in our lives and how this could change our experience. And this is exciting. So I think being at an event like Spikes Asia uh, is great to be exposed to the conversations that are shaping the industry right now and the conversations that are framing uh, the kinds of commercial conversations that we're happening, uh, that we're having as an industry. So technology and people are already fusing together. Um, and people ask, well, what's the timeline on cyborgism? What's the timeline on this? The reality is it's already here. The future's here, it's just not evenly distributed yet. And so what we're gonna see is the mainstreamization of, of technology getting smaller and smaller. So uh, the amazing things that Moon does is like the bleeding edge of a much more mainstream shift, which we'll see on screens vanishing and us having much more intimate connections with technology, uh, which is connect us to information and data in much more intricate ways. So the merging with technology has changed my perception of, of reality and this has changed how I create art itself. So I guess uh, art, so when I guess all artists uh, when they create they they create their own experience experience or they their own point of view of reality or how they experience life or how they feel. So if you integrate a new sense, a new way of perceiving life, uh, eventually you will it will you will show it to others and you will share it in, a, in another level. So yeah, it has changed definitely my perception of, of creativity.